basic training in basic training one and two for sale at Gumroad at fortworthplayboy.gumroad.com. I like basic training. It's a hundred tips, essays, uh, pieces of information on laying down a foundation that you can build your game upon. There's things that most men don't know because back in the day, you either had a, you were a wingman in the beginning before you learned game or your dad was a player and passed it down to you, or you had an uncle that would come into the house with a new girl, drive your mom crazy because she didn't want your dad like getting some strange ideas. Like he could have a 19 year old girlfriend. So you're, you understood, you learned how to pick up women from other players, but that system has kind of broken down now that guys basically go to work or go to school, then they get high or drunk and then play video games. So they don't have a chance to interact with players or to see it being done. Um, so a lot of this stuff was passed down from player to player, from, from dude to dude that got lost or you just don't know. And one of the most basic things that you don't know when you start dating, start going out, basic training, is you need reservations. If you're going to go out to eat, no dinner, first dates. I don't need to say it again. We're not talking about your first date. After you've been fucking a girl for a while, you can take her out to dinner. Think of it as a reward for you fucking her if you need to. Restaurant reservations always call ahead. Even if it's like, you know, a chain restaurant in the area, you don't want to wait. So always call ahead and see if you can reserve a table when going out to eat. Nothing kills a positive, sexy momentum of a day than standing outside for 30 minutes to an hour with one of those dorky beepers in your hand waiting to be seated. In Texas, they don't always have enough room to stay, like to wait inside or the bar will be full. And so you're standing outside and it's 115 degrees and she's dressed to kill and now she's ready to kill you. That's what you're trying to avoid set reservations because at most it'll reduce your wait time sometimes you might still have to wait 10 or 15 minutes but at least you know it was set you did everything you could so that's the real deal with restaurants when you decide to go out to eat always 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 call and try to set reservations or go online to like open table and set a reservation from your phone if you can it just makes your life that much easier again it's not going to make or break you, but it's going to lose. You're going to lose momentum when you're standing around and it doesn't look like you have your shit together. You want to make it as smooth from like picking her up, dropping the car off with the valet. She's sitting at a table. It looks good. It feels good. It looks like you have your shit together. Um, and again, most guys don't do this. They're the chumps that you're walking past that are standing there for an hour, hour and a half waiting for a table. By then, she's like toast. She's not interested. So even something is basically when she tries to make her peg. Oh, okay. We'll cover this in a second. But this is basic training. And that's this is a basic skill. This is skill stuff. And you need to know this stuff. And it's all in basic training one and two that can be found at fortworthplayboy.gumroad.com. And Stan, the milkman, always has a good comment. Even something so basic, bitch, when she tries to make you hold her bag on a first date, you just laugh. Every other guy fails. Exactly. There are little things that we know in our little world um, that don't seem that important, but they actually are the difference between a positive and a negative reaction. Just like you don't do dinner dates. I mean, guys will always reach out. I'm always When I talk about girls are excited to meet you. They're excited to go out on a date. I always have some knucklehead jump in and go, well, maybe she just wants free food. Well, you don't have to worry about that in our world because you never buy dinner or a meal until after you've been fucking her for a while. It's always drinks first. And it's a better setup. Girls don't want to fuck on a full stomach. There's all kinds of reasons that we have these rules in game. And again, you don't hold her purse. You just laugh her off. You're like, what? No, you can't hold your purse. We're just hanging right there. I'm sitting right here. It's just simple because she is. She's consciously or unconsciously testing you for your metal. How will he react to this? Again, she's doing it consciously 
She's doing it unconsciously. Either way, you can fail or pass. And again, the more tests that you pass, the faster and easier it will be to get her into bed. It lets her know that you're a guy that just gets it and that she's a silly child and that you have amused mastery. There's so many things that you pick up over time that just go into playing to making your life easier. And again, somebody from the outside go, man, that looks smooth because you've learned through trial and error and through testing and through all of our fuck ups, what not to do again, just like dinner on a first date or dinner on a second date. If you're not fucking her, you're not taking her to dinner. You're taking her to drinks and then you're fucking her and you're always fucking the first like six months that you guys meet up. You fuck every time. There's no hanging out. There's no, you know, going to the lake and not fucking just hanging out. Just you always fuck. So that's because that's what you're there for. That's what she's there for. So that's the real deal. Basic training. Restaurant reservations. Always call ahead and see if you can reserve a table when going out to eat. Nothing will kill that momentum or positive sexy momentum. Then standing outside for 30 minutes to an hour and a half with that beeper in your hand, waiting to be seated. You want to keep things moving. You want to keep things lively um, and moving in your direction. If you guys want to support this channel, like, like, share, subscribe. Um, and if you want to support financially, we have products at fortworthplayboy.gumroad.com or myplayboysbunny.gumroad.com. Man, this 45 minutes flew by. Usually we go 30. I don't have to be anywhere. Bunny's on our way over. And I hope you guys have a great day.